Today I'm going to run through how to install Jenny Alone 2.0.1 onto your web server. The first thing to do is uh, this assumes that you have web hosting that has cPanel installed. And this is the normal cPanel screen that you see. First thing you need to do is to set up a database. Uh, the easiest way to do that is use the MySQL database wizard and we'll give it a name of Jenny A. The first uh, few letters of Jenny alone. And then we'll press next step. We'll call the user the same for the purposes of this demonstration. And then we'll use a simple password again for this demonstration. We'll now create the user. Don't want to remember it. And we want to give that user all privileges. So that's it. We've now created our database. We've created our database user. And we've given him all privileges to that database. So now we need to go back to the normal cPanel. Go to the file manager. Now in this case, I'm using a subdomain. so. I already have the Jenny alone directory created. Now the first thing you need to do is to upload the zip file that you've uh, downloaded from the Jenny alone website. Uh, I've already put it here just to save some time with this demonstration but the way you do that click on upload, you browse to Jenny alone 2.01 yep and then you just say open I'm going to cancel it at that stage because we're not going to bother with that because it's already there. And then once it's finished, as soon as you've clicked uh, open, it will start uploading. So we'll now go back here and you've just got the one zip file there in the directory. Now what you need to do is you need to extract all of the files from that zip file. So if we click extract and what it does by default is puts all of the files into a Jenny alone subdirectory. Um, so in this case it would put them in Jenny alone, Jenny alone, which in fact we don't want. Um, so I'm just going to take that out. So it will now put all the files in the same directory as the zip file. So we'll just say extract the files. It's extracted all of the files so we can close that but we can't see them so we need to reload and now we can see all of our files there. Now reading the instructions from um, that come with Jenny alone which are here in store text we can view those just by clicking the view window here and it tells you what to do. Basically we need to put your database details into your configuration file. So we do that we've got a config template.php. If we change that name to just by clicking on it and just make it config PHP and then we want to go to the code editor to edit it and in here we now need to put in between the single quotes our database username. So full database username and also the database name so they're both the same so I can just paste those in. Now the password will be here in plain text. So I suggest that you actually make it something a little bit more secure than I have for your real life site. We then say save and close. So we've now got our config PHP file here. So what we can do now is we can now go over into our web browser and we can start the installation. So in this case, we've got a 500 server error. Now this particular server or the host that this is with um, doesn't like some of the permissions that are the default for Jenny alone. And so if we pop back here, what it doesn't like is it doesn't like, these are the file permissions here, 664. 
So we need to change those. So all we need to do, click on change permissions. And the one we need to take off is this group write permission. It's a security thing that my host insists on. So we just say change permissions. So we've done that and you can see it now says 644, which is fine. So if we now come back to the window here, we've now got our end user agreement for Jenny alone, which we say I agree to. We now need to give a username and a password so that you can always, so you can administer the back end of your website. So, um, And then we submit that. Congratulations, it's been installed successfully. So we can now log in. It's brought our details over. And we can say log in. Now we're getting our free license. So you have to install a license, um, which we can do in a minute. Um, so what are we going to call this? Website, we'll call it Jenny Alone Test Site. Um, we'll call it My Genealogy Website. Now you can put some front page text in here if you like. I'm not going to bother at this stage, and we can say submit. So we can see what that looks like. So that is what your website now looks like. It's no data in it, of course, because we haven't uploaded a JetCon file yet. So all we need to do is if we go to Fast Setup, no, nope, incorrect, because that's where we are. Let's go to Administration. And what we want to do is upload a JetCon file. So we can see that there's nobody in here at the moment. So if we go to the JetCon, so we can now add a JetCon file. So let's browse to one and say continue. It's telling us the file size, continue again. There's 89 people in it and just plain import, continue. And it's imported all 89 people into our database. So it gives us a brief rundown of the data that it's imported. We come over to our site now and refresh. You'll see it's now put in all of those people. And at that stage, I'm going to leave it in this video. I'll do a subsequent video which shows you how to actually do some more configurations and changes, um, change the colors, etc., and upload data. So that's the end of this video.